The fans have, uh, have been uh, so wonderful. Uh, they've really given birth to this, uh, to the film Tron Legacy. We, uh, two years ago, we showed a small little uh, portion of what this film might be, and the film uh, got such a great reaction from the fans that uh, Disney said, oh yeah, we can put the money that it's gonna cost to make this film a reality uh, into play, and so now we have Tron Legacy. And I think one of the things that uh, I know attracted me to, to the uh, first Tron, and this one as well, is that it's really creating a myth for modern times. You know? Well, the original, what was it, 27 years ago? <laughs> the original, was a very cutting edge at the time. Uh, of course, looking back, it, it looks uh, you know like an old black and white TV show. But at that time, uh, making the original Tron, there were no, uh, there was no internet. There, our cell phones were these things we carried around in big suitcases. Uh, we shot that movie in 70 millimeter black and white, uh, and then it was. Uh, sent to Korea where a, a bunch of ladies hand tinted all the frames to make the suits glow and so forth. Now in this one, uh, again, it's cutting technology. We're, we're, we're the next generation of, of, of 3D uh, cinematography, um, you know, after Avatar. So it takes all that tech technology that, uh, that Jim Cameron came up with into the, to the next level. Plus our suits uh, they do actually glow and throw light on the other actors in the sets, so it's practical. And I think one of the really great things that uh, Joe did, and being an architect, he was able to do this, was to marry actual sets with uh, CGI sets. And it's very hard for the audience to tell which is which. Is which you know?